All right, guys, we spent a lot of time talking to Sean and Courtney out there at the number 16 Winter Garden store for ABC and all the different things that they could be doing to that store that brand new to everything that we're doing, right? So we're gonna walk you through the shop. Tim and I are gonna kind of show you what we got going on right here. So um, we're gonna start with these massive rings. And remember the rings that they wanna put up in the center of the store. It's gonna be like over their tastings area. Yep. And they want it to be a real focal point of the store. So we got these crazy rings that are gonna be at the center of that store right over their tastings area. And it's gonna be a focal point of the store. Yep. Tell us about these. Well, these guys have been around. <laughs> About six years now, and this will be the third location that they're going to. They started off in Jacksonville, then they went down to Seminole, now they're coming to Winter Garden. Uh, <laughs> and, so and they were up there in Seminole last week, right? We just took these we things just down. We just took them down. So, we're going to be prepping them again. We're going to spray them in new Matthews satin finish because their colors on this store are slightly different than what we had here. Yep. So the colors are going to change just a little bit. They'll be very similar. And then what about the LEDs? So they're six years old. They're still working. Everything's great. They're Hanley P3 modules with Hanley power supplies. But since they're here and they're in the store, we might as well go ahead and yeah, change all that out and get that all back up to, you know, perfection. Well, we don't want to do it in another year or two if they do happen to go out because they are getting older. Yep, exactly. So we have them here, so that's what we're going to be doing. But with this being the store of the future, hopefully they're going to do this in the, all the new locations. It would be a great thing. All right, come on. Let's go over here and see what else we got going. All right, well, over here in our first station, we have the FFO signs, Florida Family Owned. We do a bunch of these. There's a whole bunch of them all around the shop right now. Any of them going to Winter Garden? Uh, yeah, two of them are actually going to Winter Garden, uh, which is actually nice. going to be really kind of cool because it'll be the first time we've actually gone and done a store like this and actually put these up at the same time. Usually they get ordered afterwards. Right, right, so, for existing stores. Yes. Well, that's very cool. We're making some new ABC channel letters here that go on the wall signs, but our typical wall logo sign, we call it the stained glass sign, yeah. and I'll show you guys that in a little bit. They're typically 48 square feet. That's your standard size. That's what we permit and put up in all the locations. But yep. With this giant Winter Garden store, we're allowed a much bigger sign there. So yeah. we're putting up two 88 square foot logo signs. They're so huge. Giant. They're so this is what we call the eyebrows yep. here. And there's one on the top and one on the bottom of the logo. It says fine wine and spirits. Yep. This is our typical bottom and spirits part for a typical 48 square foot store. Look at this thing. Look at it compared to the 88 square foot sign. <laughs> That's quite a big difference there, huh? It is a huge difference. Yeah, this is your typical 48, and yep. this is the 88. So it is uh, about twice the size. So this is just a typical channel can, uh, 040 aluminum sides, 8th yep. inch return or 8th inch uh, uh, backer plate, uh, Hanley P3 LEDs inside, white acrylic with uh, 3M brown translucent, so it all lights up brown and white. Mm -hmm. And then we take regular jewel light, trim cap, put it on there, mask it off, paint it brown to match the acrylic I mean, the uh, vinyl face and the return. So you got one nice brown, you know, uh, full channel can and it's ready to go. Yeah. And with this store, it seems like everything is, uh, well, much bigger. <laughs> yeah, man. It could definitely be a giant store. All right. Yeah, so this is our regular ABC letters for the typical 48 square foot. And then we're going to show you what the big ones look like down here. Oh, yeah. Look at the difference here, man. I'm going to have to take your line, man. You know, look that? how massive this thing is. Massive. <laughs> it's a good word. Love that. <laughs> so let's talk about this here real quick. So this is a 1.75 aluminum angle framework. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is standard five inch deep channel letter, white acrylic faces, white LEDs inside. But let's look at this backer. So we'll put this back down here again. <clears throat> yeah. You guys come in here and check this out. So this is kind of this is kind of unique. We kind of invented this when we were talking to them about this process. So this color right here, we've got a red B, a green uh, A, and then you've got this teal C right here. But it's really translucent, really transparent. And what we did is we took two layers of 3M clear vinyl, ran them through our printers in these colors, stack them on top of each other, so it's just clear on clear acrylic. So you get the yep. color, but you don't really get any solid mass yeah, yeah, behind nothing, it. Yeah, it's just clear. Because you can see this is the back. You can actually see the LEDs right through the back of the can right there. And we put mm -hmm. the back of the letters, instead of making our standard aluminum backer, we did it in clear Lexan. Yep. Actually, this is Lexan as well for, mm -hmm. uh, U for UL standards. So clear Lexan. So when this thing stud mounts, we stud mount these away from the building. Yep. 
on the one light source, white letters, white mm -hmm. LEDs, it shines the letter white, but it also shines a glow Has around a the mm -hmm. teal and the blue yep. and the, uh, the red and the, the green. So you get multiple colors on the sign with one white yep. light source. Pretty cool little idea. It is. It's very cool. And when you actually see it in person, it, it has this beautiful halo glow and it does. And the whole thing is just lit up beautiful. Yeah. It really does. Really cool. So we talked about the signs on the building. We talked about the FFO signs. We talked about the interior rings. What is this stack of crazy right here? Well, this right here is going to be ABC's new wall signage for the interior package. So this is a complete difference from what we usually do. We usually do a bent formed 063 little raceway thing yep. with dimensional letters mm -hmm. uh, mounted on it, ultra plus two inch thick letters, and then they go on the wall that's the same color yes. painted. So this location is all light gray walls because they're getting a more contemporary kind of look mm -hmm. and feel to everything. And the color pop is gonna come from these signs, which they're massive, right? You got these big panels, I yes. mean, they're 42 inches tall. And some of these signs are 30 feet long they're gonna install on that wall. So the signage is what's gonna bring the pop of color to the place. Oh, here's a couple of them that are already painted now. So he smoothed it out, bodywork, polyester filler, nice and flat. He sprays two coats of Matthew satin urethane on there in the mixed color. And then he's coming back with two coats of satin clear to make sure that just lays out nice and smooth as best we possibly can, right? Yeah. Now, we got the letters over here. Look at this, we got a T, T for Tim. All right. Yeah, look at that. Now, this is really cool because this is something different, too. Mm -hmm. This is one inch thick cast white acrylic. And why do we use a product like that? Now, it is heavy, got a little bit of weight to it, yes, but we it want does. a real classy looking, very high gloss sheen to these letters, which is gonna contrast from your satin finish of the panels, right? So we're not going to paint the face of these. It's just gonna stay straight white mm -hmm. acrylic, which is, gives us a nice, great little high-end high look, nice and glossy. But the edges, we're gonna spray in black Matthews urethane, but mm -hmm. it's gonna be gloss finish. So it'll be gloss returns in black, and then a gloss face in white. They'll mount to these satin panels, yep. and they already have the holes all drilled in for the studs, because we're gonna mechanically fasten these to the sign. Now, it does, it's gonna make them a little bit heavier, yes, but it will. man, I think it's gonna be just a great, really great looking look. It is going to look really, really classy. It is a high-end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely a different look, but I think it's, man, I can't wait to see it all.